Yeah, Michelle, I spoke to actually a flight instructor who has nothing but good things to say about the sport of flying, but he also told me that he'll miss his fellow pilot, Tom Hosfeld. Flying is a wonderful experience. Tim Chrisman has been flying all of his life. He couldn't think of doing anything else. So when he hears about a fellow pilot losing his life, he's crushed. It is very hard on the flying community. We're all a very close-knit um, group of people. We want to make sure that everybody uh, is safe and does the right things, and we all enjoy our sport. And part of enjoying the sport of flying is understanding safety and knowing when to react during a given situation. We have a very good safety record. We do really good training in airplanes. And, and it is, for all practical purposes, a relatively safe experience. Unfortunately, pilot Tom Hosfeld and his daughter Casey lost their lives trying to fly to Chicago. FAA records indicate a cargo door was open on their twin-engine Beechcraft Bonanza plane. That's when Hosfeld turned the plane around. But witnesses say he was too low and missed the runway. Then he banked hard left. I mean hard, about 60 degree angle. And the left wing hit the ground just above this orange structure here. Mm -hmm hit the ground, he bounced a couple times, and then the nose pitched forward and caught the propeller. And when it landed, it imploded. Christmas believes no one will ever know what really happened, but does say any open door could possibly create adverse flying conditions. In generalities, if, if a cargo door were to come open, it, it would change the flight characteristics of the airplane somehow, somewhat. How specifically, I couldn't comment on that. Christmas says he doesn't want this accident to put fear in those who think about taking to the skies. Statistically, what I've heard all my life is that the drive to the airport in your car is probably a little more dangerous than the actual flight. And Chrisman uh, says that uh, Tom Hosfeld, he believes, was a competent pilot who knew what he was doing. You know, I've seen people just in the past 30 minutes to an hour that I've been out here, they're still coming by this site here at the Wright, Dayton Wright Brothers Airport just looking at the scene, and they're also leaving flowers in memory of Tom and Casey Hosfeld. For now, reporting live in Springboro, Kenan Oliphant, 2 News on Your Side.